Let's recap. Whole Glow 40 is basically a challenge that I've created for myself where I eliminate all dairy, all animal products, and as much processed foods as possible for 40 days. The main reason I'm doing this is to cleanse my mind, body, and soul from the inside out. So far, I have done a fiber cleanse to cleanse my body of all the junk that I've eaten. I've started intermittent fasting to lose a few extra pounds. And I've recorded everything along the way. So if you want to catch up, make sure to watch the video journals on my YouTube channel now. <sighs> Welcome to day one, week four. We've made it. We're almost a month in. We being me. Because <laughs> I don't know who's watching this, doing this with me, or contemplating it. If you are, I think I'm at a point where I could recommend this 100%. These last couple of weeks have been life-changing for me for several reasons. I'll go through that sometime um, in this video, but I wanted to introduce this week and repeat um, some of the things that I've mentioned that are key pieces um, to my whole Glow 40 journey. One of which, um, I'm out of breath because I just finished my at-home workout. I'm home with my daughter Ava today because she's sick. So I had no choice but to do an at-home workout because I can't bring her to the gym with me. But I just killed it, did a quick 35 minutes because it's all i had while she was eating she's gonna probably start crying any second for me to get her um and i'm using this amazing pre-workout it's linked in the description box i've been using it for the past three to four weeks and it is really amazing it is the most plant-based um supplement that i found on amazon it's really highly rated it is a little bit pricey at 33 dollars um for 162 grams but i totally recommend this doesn't make you jittery gets me through my workouts it's really hard for me to do that but love it also i am doing intermittent fasting so i'm only eating from 12 30 p.m to 8 30 p.m and then i'm fasting the rest of the time that's really important to my journey just because of the times that i'll be eating and lastly which i'm almost done with i think i'll be done today i'm done with it today i'm doing a fiber cleanse it's the clean start nature sunshine i know this is probably backwards for you um but i'll link it in the description box also can be found on amazon this stuff is amazing it's an amazing two-week cleanse um that you basically have to take supplements right before you eat uh, for two meals throughout your day and it makes you flush everything out so on top of eating extremely healthy and drinking half of my weight in ounces of water um, and doing intermittent fasting I've also been doing that cleanse so those are the key components to my journey um, I'm supposed to break my fast at 12 30 um, so I need to drink my cleanse now because I need at least 15 to 30 minutes before um, I eat I'm so out of breath Lord but I just wanted to introduce this video with all these endorphins that I'm experiencing right now um, and just say that I hope you keep watching because this week I assume is going to be better than the rest now that I'm a little bit more educated about how to do things and what I like um, recipes that I want to try recipes that I don't necessarily like veggies that I like, fruits that I like, veggies and fruits that I don't like, yada, yada, yada. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do. That is the best way you can support me. Other ways you can support me, liking this video, subscribing to my mailing list, all of the links that you need are in the description box, as well as links to resources for the Whole Glow 40 journey so that you can do it for yourself. Okay, it's lunchtime. Um, Sorry, I was chopping onions, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm really craving an egg salad sandwich. I've been craving eggs like nobody's business since I've been doing this um, this cleanse, since I've been on this journey. So I'm creating a vegan version. So I have some chickpeas in here, some red onions, a few grape tomatoes, and I am cheating with this, but I need it. I'm using vegan A's, which is literally the same <laughs> as mayo. It's just the vegan version, egg-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, because it's soy-based. This is my secret ingredient, so that it gives it that um, egg salad sandwich um, texture. So I'm gonna mash these all together. There you have it, folks. I'm about to dog this. I think I'm also gonna cut up an avocado. That's right there. I have it with this. Yeah.
This literally tastes like an egg salad sandwich. I have mayo all over my face. This is so delicious. I am so glad that I'm taking risks in the kitchen. It's not quite dinner time, but I want to prep dinner early because I have a lot of work to do and I'm taking care of Ava and she's just taking up a lot of my time. I'm not complaining. I just want to be ready and prepared. So I'm going to make a lentil soup stew situation in the crock pot. Mine has the four hour and six hour high settings. Today I'm going to use the four hour and then it also has the eight hour and 10 hour settings, which is great if you work full time outside of your house or you're not going to be home. Um, you can load all your food in here, set it to either of these settings and it will be ready by the time you get home, which is awesome. I'm using these Goya regular green lentils, the Masur doll. There's also a yellow doll and there's uh, red lentils as well, which I also have in my cupboard, but I'm going to use these. I'm probably only going to do a cup of this and two cups of organic veggie stock. This one is from Trader Joe's. I'm adding one big sweet potato and two regular sized potatoes. I'm also going to add in three carrots. I'm going to add in some organic coconut creamer just a little bit and a bunch of spices in here i have the sweet potato the potato i have red onion i have the cup of lentils oh i could taste it from here i have a tablespoon of um, cumin garlic turmeric and curry and then i also added salt and pepper and then a little bit of dried oregano i'm going to add three cups of this organic veggie stock and i was bugging by saying two because all this stuff is gonna literally suck in all this liquid i might add four let's see exactly four cups i think i'm gonna add one cup of water just to be safe i'm gonna mix this all around i'm gonna add some of the coconut creamer i don't know how much that was just eyeballed it <laughs> i'm going to seal this guy up we're gonna set this to four hours easy peasy okay it's officially dinner time almost dinner time but i'm hungry i made some orzo to go with the lentils that i made in the crock pot so we're gonna have that ava and i as we wait for huey uh because my intermittent fasting curfew is 9 p.m i switched it from 9 to 1 because i'm in jury duty this week so my curfew breaks at one we usually break uh for lunch at one so i'm gonna do it nine to one so let's eat this is how the lentils turned out i think these little particles are the creamer that separated i usually just use coconut milk which i actually have right here this canned coconut milk from trader joe's um i just needed to use the creamer so i guess it separated but still made it super creamy wow this smells amazing the potatoes are like breaking on their own which means they're really well cooked really excited to get into this and i hope ava likes it too man it has been a weird couple of days hey baby come on say hi my baby has uh some sort of a cold or something and she has been battling a fever for two days so i've been like totally dedicated to her but today I have to go back to jury duty, so I couldn't make lunch. So what I brought for lunch today was the lentils, but I ended up not wanting to eat it because I already had leftovers from three days ago from Friday in the fridge at jury duty. So I ate that, which was the falafel with couscous, uh, peppers, and I believe tomato or something. I forgot but something happened. I think my body's overloaded on fiber because I got the worst stomach pain right after I ate and I had to listen to a bunch of presentations from DAs and stuff. Um, and I had the worst stomach pain. So I started doing what you shouldn't do and Googling it. Um, and 
I came across that that I may have eaten too much fiber and I think it's because I have not been drinking um, the amount of water that I usually drink so I drink half of my weight in ounces of water right now I'm drinking 79 ounces 80 ounces of water um, depending on what my weight is so the lower I go on the scale the less water I drink um, but still um, and I haven't been drinking that yesterday I was like totally dedicated to Ava and um, as you can tell she's chewing on my pajamas because her molars are coming out and she's just like sick and has a fever probably mad CMI but just in case anybody else uh, comes across those pains um, or those sensations um, or wants to overload on fiber don't um, I don't recommend it anyway that was a little update um, it's dinner time and I need to make something really fast so I am making brown rice spaghetti um, with this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto that I got at Trader Joe's. This had really good reviews on YouTube and on the internet by some food bloggers that I follow. Um, so I'm going to try this out and I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes in it. Just, yeah, because who doesn't like sun-dried tomatoes? And for Huey, I'm making some fish, which I'm totally jealous about because I miss fish. Like, you don't understand how much I miss fish and eggs. It's the only thing, the only two things that I miss is fish and eggs. I could do without chicken. I could do without meat, I think. Um, but fish and eggs, I don't know. Anyway, plant-based pastas are the way to go if you're just starting out or even if you're just a pasta lover like me. Um, they are just as tasty um, you can either make your sauce or buy a sauce I buy sauce because I don't got time to be making sauce um, I'm sure I will dedicate you know a day to making a batch of sauce that I can use but until then organic pasta sauce <laughs> let me know in the comments by the way if you guys want me to do a video where you guys peek into my pantry which is this magical place right here. Um, I see those videos on people's YouTubes and I'm like, I wanna know what's in your pantry. Um, Cause it's really just insightful for uh, people who, especially for people like me, who are just trying to make good decisions, good dietary decisions for their health and aren't necessarily full vegan or full whatever, you know, don't subscribe to any titles, but still want to make good decisions and want to know what to buy. I know that food shopping is extremely difficult because there are so many choices. It's kind of overwhelming. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that video. Oh my God, this pesto is delicious. This pasta was such a good idea. This is Ava's with a little bit of whole wheat bread. I'm going to do it without the bread. This is like super simple, but also the easiest thing I have made thus far. I recommend this pesto 4 million percent. Hey y'all. I hate that I'm in jury duty and I can't talk to you guys while I eat my lunch, but I'm home and I have a lot to say. I'm making a very simple dinner tonight. I'm just doing a zucchini uh, stir fry with mushroom and carrots and nothing crazy i'm just i'm not in the mood to cook today um i didn't look for any recipes i'm running out of ideas so i have to like look for things to make but i have these zucchini noodles or zoodles in the fridge that i need to use um and yeah that's what we're gonna do i'm also going to add some coconut aminos and some organic tahini both from trader joe's i think i go through how to make this in my first um video so if you haven't seen that go watch it that meal was whack i think i put too much tahini or too much coconut aminos something threw it off i didn't like it Huey didn't like it that much. So I'm grateful that he's honest with me. I don't think I'm going to be buying zoodles anymore or making noodles out of zucchinis because I just... No, you are in trouble. 
Yes, you are in trouble. I am craving chocolate like nobody's business. So I'm gonna have some chocolate. It's um, not time for my curfew yet, my instrument fasting curfew. So I'm gonna have some dark chocolate covered almonds, which is so plant-based. As long as the dark chocolate doesn't have milk in it, which some of them do, fake, some fake ass dark chocolate. I'm having dark chocolate covered almonds. We just took Ava for a doctor's appointment, a regular wellness visit on 110th Street. And we are now on 162nd, walking just because we wanted to. And I realized that I wasn't able to do this before. I love walking, but since I got heavier, I haven't been able to hold up. Um, my endurance was very low. My energy was extremely low. And today, I'm just like, walking like nothing, which feels amazing. Like that's even better for me than losing weight. It's like the amount of energy that I've gained from changing my diet. We did it, we walked all the way home. How many miles is that? Uh, five, and a, five and a half, I wanna say. I'm so pissed. I came home ready to eat these veggie burgers and look at the ingredients in them. Okay, I made a mishmash instead. So we have some raw spinach and balsamic vinaigrette. I have um, avocado, I have grape tomatoes. I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on everything. And then I added these falafels with some of the vegan pesto that I got from Trader Joe's. So a bunch of like my favorite tastes all together to make god knows what i'm sure it's gonna taste good i don't know how it's gonna taste together but we'll see it is friday afternoon i forgot to record last night um because we ordered food i didn't cook because i wasn't in my normal routine um i we ended up ordering uh, thai food and i ended up getting a stir fry dish with tofu and veggies nothing crazy we didn't miss anything but it's the next day i'm in jury duty today again i have one day left um so i'm running out to get something since i didn't have any leftovers from last night i decided to try vegan sushi which is really weird i don't know what, what to expect but i'm running over to get some before i have to go back and i just came across my favorite vegan ice cream shop in all of the world and i'm really tempted but i'm not gonna do it The vegan sushi was delicious. I would definitely go back there. It was just as pricey as regular sushi is. I paid 13 bucks or 12 bucks for a lunch uh, special with a roll and dumplings. Super filling, super, super, super good. Really tasty. When it's so you almost know, Easter, me and Nisanto, your man is eating and fine. And I'll be no, trying to have a and you can't even have it. Somebody else that you mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm plating, but I just have to say this is the easiest meal I have ever made in my entire life. <laughs> Look at these beautiful avocados. This is cauliflower rice, soy chorizo that I got from Trader Joe's, onions, garlic, cilantro, and I'm going to throw some avocado on the side. It also has cumin, you know, all the spices that I like, cumin, salt, pepper, um, a little bit of garlic powder as well. This just smells so good. I went a little crazy and opened two avocados so i'm gonna put some lemon on it and put it in the fridge and we're gonna have this for breakfast tomorrow well Huey's gonna have it for breakfast tomorrow because i'm still doing intermittent fasting we're at one of my favorite cuban restaurants still doing whole glow 40 over here I'm 
home. I feel like I haven't spoken a lot for this video. I've been really just, I hate to say busy because it's not a busy that I want it to be. I've been in jury duty. Uh, Ava's been sick. Hi. You trying to take my spotlight? Hi. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym. I've been taking it really easy with my meals and haven't been super veggie ah, heavy. Hi. I, I've let in um, more processed foods than I started with on this um, journey. And it's just, I've been kind of like out of it. I need to refresh with um, this next week coming up because I'm nearing the end. I'm, you know, over the hump and I really want to finish strong. I know that tomorrow is my weigh in and I know for a fact that I haven't lost any weight um, from the second weigh in. And it's just, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, more than anything, this journey is about learning my body um, and learning how to eat intuitively. I've definitely learned a lot this week just from the mistakes that I've made. And I'm going to switch things up next week. Um, I may or may not be cutting out intermittent fasting. I'm still undecided about it. Um, I may or may not be upping the amount of supplements I take. Um, and I may or may not be getting an insane amount of blood testing done. You just have to keep watching to see, but um, there's just a lot and I'm trying to keep up and, you know, catch up with myself and keep you guys informed and it is what it is. I'm trying my best. I realized that I did not record yesterday for dinner and that's because we had that vegan pizza. We came home and like jumped on the couch, fell asleep. I woke up at 9.15 and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't cook dinner. Like we didn't even have dinner. And I ended up making them sandwiches and I ate, oh, I ate a slice of avocado toast and I finished at 9.30 and that was it. So I broke my fast um, when I needed to because I ate so late. Um, I broke my fast at 1.30 uh, with leftovers of the... Um, cauliflower rice and soy chorizo that i made the other day so it's just been like this week hasn't been that interesting i've just been eating out a lot still you know vegan still as plant-based as possible but still very processed and that's not good i need to get it together um in this next week really be more inventive with my meals and keep it as plant-based as possible like next week's goal is to not have any processed foods like at all that's going to be extremely tough because we are going away we're going to virginia beach for the weekend i've already done some research on um plant-based restaurants and, and vegan options in restaurants and there are many so i'm either going to be stuck eating like lettuce and like mixed vegetables which i'm going to be so upset about or eating processed vegan foods so we will see what's up um i don't know i'm pretty nervous i'm excited because we definitely need this weekend away huey and i um we're road tripping so gotta go mom duty do i pull it together next week or do i continue being terrible at nutritional choices stay tuned for the week five whole glow 40 vlog